Bubbly, please sponsor me. All right, what is up, you guys? It's Rick here. Today, we're going to be um, talking about Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury because this is going to happen now. It's pretty much confirmed unless, you know, someone chickens out again. But now, nah, last time Tommy actually had um, like a, a virus of some kind. It, it was either a virus or he was like injured. But it was a valid reason. So hopefully they're both um, healthy this time around. But yeah, today we're going to be looking at uh, Jake Paul's new video titled The Biggest Risk of My Career. And honestly, man, it is a pretty big risk because he is going up against a professional boxer now. Tommy's record is 8-0. Four wins by knockout. And Jake Paul is... Uh, 5-0 with four wins by knockout. Jake Paul has uh, technically knocked out everyone he's fought. Uh, he knocked out Tyron in his second fight with him. The first one, it went the distance, but they had a rematch and he knocked him out. So, but yeah, this uh, this is someone's gonna lose. Someone has to lose unless it draws. So this is like what I find really cool about this fight. Somebody is pretty much gonna lose, you know. But yeah, that's enough chit chat. So let's watch the video now. He's got a crawl. My robots! My robots! Yeah, I'll find a real boxer, Jake. I'm not a boxer. I'm a real boxer, pussy. Whatever, bro. I should cook you, fucker. I'm a real boxer, pussy. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna turn into a Chick fil A sandwich anyways. I'll find a real boxer when I want to, huh? Come at me, bro. <laughs> pussy. See, I like this video. He's, uh, he's making fun of himself in a way, you know. He, he, he knows how to take a joke. But, I mean, it's true. He hasn't fought a professional boxer yet. And he's going to be doing it now, which is, like he said, it's a big risk. So, I mean, who am I rooting for? To be honest, Jake Paul has grown on me, okay? I used to fucking hate him so much. But, like, now, I don't know. He just seems to, like, he, he seems to be maturing, you know? So, yeah, I'm definitely rooting for Jake in this one. Might even place a bet on him because he always wins. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna fuck this professional boxer up. Professional boxer. Hold my beer, babe. It's time to start training. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is my toughest test yet. You guys wanted me to fight a real boxer. You guys have been tormenting me day in and day out. Fight a real boxer. The answer is no fucking problem. As far as real boxers, this is as real as it gets. Tommy Furry comes from a bloodline of <laughs> legendary fighters, the Gypsies. Tommy Furry, but yeah, he uh, Tyson Fury, his uh, his brother, is a I believe he's undefeated, right? He's the uh, the, the heavyweight champion. So yeah, uh, he does have a you know a family of boxers. So I mean if. Tommy loses this fight. Do you guys think that this will disappoint his family and their legacy? I think it would, but to be honest, I, I'm still going for Jake here because you know I'm a fan of Tyson, but Tommy, you know, I'm not. I'm not too sure about him yet. Who have been mauling people since they were fucking born three thousand million years ago? For Christ's sake, his brother is the heavyweight champion of the world has never lost a fight. His dad went to jail for ripping someone's eye out. Tommy Furry has been boxing since he was 12 years old. Gone through the amateurs. Just mauled a 10 and one boxer. Knocked him to the ground. The furry name is just as infamous as the Mayweathers. Their whole entire family all they know is box. To put this into comparison as to what's going on, it would be like Tommy Furry trying to start a vlog channel to outlog me and Logan. It's not fucking possible. It's every day, bro. I'm going into their territory. I am going into their sport. I am going into their coochies. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> like I said, Tommy's been boxing since he was 12 years old. This is part of his blood. This is what he does on a daily basis. Besides, you know, the... Kiss him in. Come here, bro. Tommy, what the hell, man? I didn't know you. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. But I didn't know you rolled that way, man. Good for you, I guess. Tommy Fury is taller than me. He's been boxing four times as long as me. He has longer arms than me. And he has 
way more ring experience than me. This is by far my toughest test yet. All jokes aside, I'm taking a very big step forward in my career. I could continue to fight big named MMA fighters and beat the shit out of them, but I want a tough test. I want to put the MVB belt on the line for this fight. This is $300,000 worth of fucking metal right here that I'm risking. Plus my career, plus my legacy. There's tons of people who want to see me lose. But that's what makes this fight exciting. This is for all the eggs. This is for all the glory. This is for all of the shit talk. Because after this, what will anyone be able to say? I came from doing YouTube two years ago to beating professional fighters. And now I'm moving on to beat a professional boxer. I am confident in my ability. I know Tommy is really good. I know he's working hard right now. I know he has great coaches. But one thing that all of these guys have in common Gibb, Nate Robinson, Ben Askren, Tyron Woodley, Deji, Tommy Fury, they all have the same thing in common. They're good fighters, but there would be a lot of people. Tyron Woodley was the five-time UFC champion of the world. The one thing they have in common is that they can't beat me. Alright, so I am actually very excited for this fight. This is like, he's actually fighting a real boxer, and nobody can say he's not, because he literally is. T Tommy has more experience than Jake. Like, I'm trying to be non-biased here, but like, he has more experience. So, I mean, how is this gonna, you know what? We'll save this all to the end, okay? Watch till the end if you want to hear, like, my full opinions. But yeah, this is a 22-minute video. Don't know if I'm gonna watch it all. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Alright, let's continue. He boxes because he was told to do so by his dad he doesn't have that that real heart that real fighter inside of him if we ever get into the ring i'm gonna expose him for the that he is that Tommy could be true you cross the line when you brought family and girlfriends into the argument that he's going to break every bone in your face tyson fury's younger brother tommy fury and yourself, you guys have kind of gone back and forth a little bit on social media. He says he wants to fight you. What do you think about that? I think it's great. You know, I think that's definitely a huge fight. A massive, massive fight. Ooh, the UK versus US, you know, we're, we're both around the same age, and I would be more than willing, you know? Two undefeated guys, two young bucks going at it. He ran away scared, didn't he? Say Paul's looking to me. I have hard as pars in the gym every single day. You know, going on the pads, if he does every day in the gym, he's out of them. Well, Jake Paul has a lot of those. You know, if he's got a pair of knackers, you know where to come and see me. And still undefeated, Tommy. TNT Fury. Have you got any message to Jake Paul? There's no excuse, it's no running, no hiding. I want you next, Shibble. Let's get on. See, that right there in the first fight versus Tyron Woodley, we're going to replay that. If the ropes weren't there, he would have been on the ground. You can't deny that. That sh probably should have been a, um, a knockdown, in my opinion. 100%. Let me know what you guys think, though, in the comments about that. The problem child, Jay Paul! I'm sick of running, there's no more running now, there's no more excuses, let's get it on next. If you want this fight, I'm here, I'm ready to go. There's no running, there's no playing. I'm here, I've done my part, right? He's done his part, right? Why not make it next? Fight it's on the tip of everyone's tongue. Nobody wants to see him fight another MMA kid. Why not come against the pro boxer? Who do you want next? You know, I think Tommy Fury is probably the top of that list. He's skilled, he's undefeated, and he's a real boxer. I, I don't really have anything to say to him, you know? At the end of the day, I hired him to be here. I gave him an opportunity to shine. Will we see that fight? I would run that shit easy. You know, that's an easier fight than Tyron, in my opinion, but Jake Paul, he just the shit out. He won't ever fight me because he hasn't got a pair of balls. That's just it. I want to continue to challenge myself and push myself with each one of these fights and do the real deal. And 
people will see that. Imagine if Jake loses, though. Like, all of that, uh, all the talk, you know, of him, like, being undefeated. Nobody could beat me. Um, if he just, if he, if he loses, which he, he, he most definitely could lose, um, what's gonna, ha what, where's he gonna go from there? Like, his, um, his ego is gonna drop, and he really can't say much, you know? Breaking news, my producers have secured footage of Tommy Fury finding out the news that he's fighting me. We're going inside his residence. That's not nice. I think he should go back to jail. Yeah. Didn't he get knocked out too? He got knocked the fuck out. Roll the clips. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what I see from the fan. So that's uh, Tyson and Tommy's dad getting knocked out. And Tyson Fury is a giant. He's heavy. He's fucking fast. He's athletic. He's strong. He's a legit fucking one of the greatest champions of all time. Yeah, I would I would never mess with Tyson. I don't think anyone would. Respect to Tyson Fury. I had no problems with Tyson Fury until obviously we started our shit talking back and forth. Um, things got personal, whatever, so be it. I respect Tyson Fury, regardless of all of that. And the problem is, is that Tyson Fury's dad, John, is living vicariously through his son. Yeah, um, Jake and Tyson, they, uh, Tyson wanted to bet 
or no, Jake. Jake uh, wanted to bet some money with uh, Tyson, and then Tyson finally said, "Okay, hundred thousand." And then and then Jake was like, "No, that's not enough." And then now it's a million. So who? I guess no. I don't know if that's official, but I think they're betting a million on this fight. Because his boxing career was shit. He never had anything. He was a bum. And so now you have this family where there's only really one uh, real superstar and money maker and successful fighter. And you have basically a family like. One person got the good net, and the rest of them, their the net sales are just they're actually nutty. All right, but uh, I mean, Tommy has a pretty successful career too. He's undefeated, eight and zero, I believe. So that's not that's not unsuccessful. But I mean, if he loses to Jake, then you know his career could start going downhill from there. So basically, Tommy thinks he's just as good of a fighter as Tyson. I was exposed that August sixth. Madison Square Garden, New York City, in the mecca of boxing, one of the most historic venues in the world. Amanda Serrano co-headlining the card at the 126-pound weight division, going up against a WBO champion who has never been knocked out. There are going to be some insane fights. Ashton, H2O Sil, the new MVP signee, is going to be fighting. You guys are going to get to see him put on the performance of a lifetime. A couple things to take note of. The press conference will be going down June 29th at 11 a.m. EST, and that is also when tickets will be going on sale at msg.com. Guys, these tickets sell out fast. Last time, all of the good tickets sold out in five minutes, so just mark this into your calendars. msg.com, June 29th, 11 a.m. Be ready. Ticket buyers be lit. Who you know got a lit ticket buyer, nigga? Before the fight, nigga, we, the, just buying the tickets is an entertainment, nigga. It's lit. 24-7, nigga. Set the alarm. If you're not at this fucking fight, then you are a pussy. Okay. Put your fucking bike and buy a ticket. Live on Showtime pay-per-view. I'll say it again. Live on Showtime pay-per-view. Big shout out to Steven Espinosa, my fucking guy. I love you, Steven. Let's get it, bro. We're going to make history again. Ariel Hawani hosting the press conference on June 29th. Like I said, that's when the tickets go on sale. And that's when the press conference goes live. If you guys want all the updates for the fight, the undercards, to stay up to date with the training videos, everything, go follow my promotional company's Instagram, at Most Valuable Promotions. We're constantly updating shit there. Uh, I'm going to follow some people back who are following that account. So go. This is as big as it... Stop capping, Jake. Yes, people. It doesn't get any bigger than Showtime. It doesn't get any bigger than Madison Square Garden. It doesn't get any bigger... And fighting someone from a legendary bloodline who's been boxing since they were 12 years old. This is a big risk, guys, and I hope you understand that I'm doing this for y'all as well. I'm doing it for all the people out there who were told they did not accomplish things in life. They're going to see what the fuck we're made of. Don't take no for an answer. But fuck what we think. Let's see what the people of the beautiful city of San Juan, Puerto Rico, have to say about this fight. Over to you, Jimmy. If you wonder why, um, throughout the video, there's a, uh, it kind of like cuts and then it's like loading. It's because there's ads and I just cut it out. So that's that's why. But these ads are getting very annoying. And we are here currently in the street in Aylong, and we're going to be talking to kids and people and see what they think about Jake Paul versus Tom Fury. Welcome to Jimmy News. I'm your host, Jimmy News, and we're going to be doing some news. Here's fifty dollars. I'm gonna ask you like who's gonna win. Okay. Near, I mean, J Jake Paul or Tommy Fury. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. All right, okay. Yeah. All, right. All right, we're here. We found some kids and we're gonna ask them. Who do you guys think would win? Jake Paul or Tommy Fury? Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. All day long. Yes. Why do you, Why do you come You come to this assessment? Cause he's goat. See, this is what I mean. Like he's making fun of himself in a way. Like. This is this is what I like about Jake now. Like he's uh he's matured. I don't think he was able to do this before, but yeah. Say one, they do or Rob do to to sway your answer. No. And, and what, what round do you think Jake Paul will win at? First round. First round. Like you knock and we lose. Me. Yeah. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna let you guys know my predictions, like the full predictions, like what round, who's winning. So yeah, stay tuned. Me. 
Jimmy, not definitely not Jake Paul. That's right, kids. Give him some more money. Good job. All right, if you propose Tommy Fury right now, what would you say to Tommy Fury? Punch you. You heard it here first. Jimmy News. One, two, three. Jimmy News. Give him fifty dollars. Who do you think is going to win, Jake Paul or Timmy Fury? You got that $50, kid. Just say Jake Paul. Jake Paul. High five. Jimmy, Jimmy News lawsuit. No one was harmed in the making of this video. No one was not harmed in the making of this video. I can say. I can say. To being on camera. To being on camera. And I love Jimmy News. <laughs> Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Oh. Who do you think is going to win? Jake Paul. Hey, Jake Paul. Oh, you know how much followers you have? Not anymore. <laughs> you want to elaborate? Yes. But you don't even know what that word means. Elaborate. Spell onomatopoeia. I bet you can't. Caught wrong. It starts with an O. Nick Paul versus Timmy Fury. Get your tickets on sale. Madison Square Garden, August 6th. Live action. Who will come with who's facing? The Brit versus the American asshole. Nothing is new except the news. Who do you think's gonna win, Jake Paul or Tommy Fury? Hey, what's up, kids? How you doing? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Franco. I'm doing What? I'm doing stupendous. Oh, I'm Nick. All right, welcome to Jimmy News. We're doing a segment on Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Now, who? Not me, Jimmy. Nope. But, but Jake Paul is gonna be fighting him. Read the shirt. Jimmy, not Jake Paul. Oh. <laughs> All right, who do you think's gonna win? Correct answers only. Damn, okay, so I'm not a meat writer, but Jake Paul. Ooh. I think I'm picking Jake. Jake Paul, Dude, give him money, give him money. <laughs> what do you guys think of when you see this picture? Yo, he's strong. Damn, he, he kind of, why are you looking like that? Who is that? Are you friends? That's Tommy Fury. Oh, 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 he looks like a bitch. Man. Yo, who is that bitch? He reminds me of some guy that would lose to Jake Paul in a boxing fight. That's bad. Pay him the money. Pay him the money. Nothing is new but the news. I'm with Franco, Ron, and Carl back here. They're doing stupendous, and so are we. You remember what? Oh, well, you're, that makes one of you. We're worldwide, global, over 280 networks, worldwide distribution, even in China. We're in global, over 280 networks, worldwide distribution. <laughs> what is that boy's jump shot, man? Oh no, it's loading. One of you. We're worldwide, global, over 280 networks, worldwide distribution, <laughs> even in China. What is that right jump shot, bro? We're taking over CNN, putting them out of business. Fake news. You ever see a news company give some kids a hundred dollars to make a shot? I haven't. Here's the motivation. There's the money. Hundred dollars, whoever makes a shot. Almost, almost right there. That was, that was the close one. I was the underdog my whole career, but here I am today. Live news, 280 countries worldwide. People never believed in me, but I believe in you. I believe you're going to make this shot. I believe it. All right. Sun's going down. Sun is going down. Any um, any early predictions for Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury? No. No predictions? Oh, yeah, Jake Paul. First round. You got to believe in the shot. You got to envision the shot going in. Envision what you're going to do. With the one hundred dollar, be one with the hoop. This is it. I'd say. Now, what do you Close. think of when you see this picture? What do you, what do you think? What do you make of that? Um, like a man. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Good job. 
Good job. Ah, uh, too bad we don't, don't have any money. money. Run. I know he still paid them. Why wouldn't he? I'm just kidding. With our new global North Korean deal, we're making over a million dollars an episode. This is from Kim Jong Un. There you go. I believed in you from the start, kid. Unlike my father believed in me. And if my wife wouldn't have left me, things would have been a lot different in my career. But we're still doing well. Worldwide global expansion. China released North Korea distribution. Thank you. Yeah, can we get a group Jimmy News on three? One, two, three, Jimmy News! Uh, what a day. What a day on the job. I get off doing this stuff. I love my job. I would have loved it more if my wife didn't leave me, though. We have a question. Who do you think is going to win? Jake Paul or Tommy Fury? Jake Paul. Jake Paul. Okay, we love that. And any early predictions of a KO? Three KOs. All right. Who do you think is going to win? Jake Paul or Tommy Fury? Three KOs. Who do you think is going to win? Jake Paul or Tommy Fury? Man! Oh! Oh! My God! Ooh! Some broken plastic here. Now repeat after me. Jimmy News is not liable for this accident. And I will not sue. And I will not sue. Why did you quiet on that one? Their parents are gonna think they're selling drugs. Where'd you get that money? Oh, a news reporter had it on the street. He gave me $150 cash. Son, you're selling drugs. I feel so good giving back like Mr. Beast. Oh, Jimmy, that's Mr. Beast's name. It really is Mr. Beast News. TikTok, this is just in breaking news. Live from my producer, Jake Paul versus... Timmy Fury has been confirmed for August 6th at Madison Square Garden. I'm Jimmy Newt. <laughs> Back to you, Jimmy. Be there, Madison Square Garden. Oh, it's already over? Jeez. Hey, shut out, Wade. But yeah, man, that uh, that went by faster than I thought it was. I didn't think I was gonna sit through the whole thing, but it was it was a pretty good video. I enjoyed it. But yeah, now it's time for uh, for my predictions. You know, my my full my full predictions. So um, I'm not sure how many rounds there's gonna be. Probably eight, I would assume. Three minute rounds. I'm gonna say it goes the distance, and Jake Paul wins by split decision. The whole fight is gonna be going back and forth. But Jake Paul is just gonna probably land a few more. Like, I don't see any knockouts happening. If there are any knockouts, I would be very surprised. Because I don't see Jake Paul getting knocked out, to be honest. And I don't see Tommy getting knocked out either. It's as simple as that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment what I should react to next. I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support lately. I've been gaining subscribers um, every day. And I appreciate it. But yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one.